In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for COCl2 plus KOH. This is cobalt 2 chloride plus potassium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. We have two chlorines here, just one here. So let's put a 2 in front of the KCl. Then that gives us two potassium, so we'll put a 2 here. We have two hydroxides, but we have these two hydroxide ions here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. You know your solubility rules. Chlorides, very soluble. AQ, that'll dissolve, split apart into its ions. Potassium hydroxide is a strong base. It's a strong electrolyte. It's going to be aqueous as well. But in general, hydroxides are insoluble. So this cobalt-2 hydroxide is insoluble. Things like potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, these group one hydroxides, they're soluble, but most of the other ones are either slightly soluble or insoluble. So either way, this will be a solid. When these two react, this will be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So we have a precipitate here. We write S. Chlorides, very soluble AQ. Next, we'll split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we don't know the ionic charge on cobalt because it's a transition metal, but the chloride ion is always 1 minus. And since we have two of them, this has to be 2 plus. So we'll have the cobalt 2 ion plus we'll have these two chloride ions here. So 2 Cl minus. Potassium is in group 1 on the periodic table. That'll be 1 plus. And the whole hydroxide, good one to remember, is 1 minus. So we have two potassium ions. And then we'll also have two of these hydroxide ions here. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So this precipitate here, we just leave that together. COOH2. This is cobalt 2 hydroxide. Plus we have positive and negative, so two potassium ions, and we have two chloride ions. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross the spectator ions out. So we have our reactants and our products. Looks like we have two chloride ions here in the reactants and then two in the products. These are spectator ions. We can cross these out two potassium ions, and again in the products, spectator ions. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for COCl2 plus KOH. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for cobalt-2 chloride plus potassium hydroxide. You'll note charge is balanced. We have a 2 plus here, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. So 2 plus, 2 minus net charge of zero. Over here, neutral compound, net charge of zero. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for COCl2 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.